Hey, good people. What's going on? Hope you're doing well. It's 411 2024, new twab slash twit info, straight from Bungie, and we're going to get right into it for y'all, all right? So here we go. First thing, if you did not catch the final shape preview, y'all, you need to go catch this video, all right? You just need to. Let's just say there's going to be a new subclass that ain't nobody seen coming, all right? A new subclass coming in the final shape. It's it's prismatic, it's wild, it's just wild, all right? It's wild. <laughs> so check it out, y'all. All right, if you didn't know, now you're about to know that right now Destiny 2 Into the Light is going down. The new Horde Wave Mode has got 11 weapons coming back, you know, Pinnacle Weapons, Luna's Howl, stuff like that. And it's going to be around for two months. So get in on it. It's free to all players, by the way, free to all players. All right, remember this cinematic for Into the Light? Well, they took a bunch of stills from it and made wallpapers for y'all. So go into the description and you can go right over here to the twid and you can download them from here. I always put it in the description. So it's a bunch of free wallpapers if you want them right here. Some good stuff, some good stuff, you know? I like it, I like it. All right, Pantheon. Remember they talked about Pantheon in one of those developer streams? All right, Pantheon is supposed to be a raid boss gauntlet. It's coming on April 30th. All right, so they say it's not only a gauntlet of raid boss encounters currently available in the game, but also they're throwing some twists in there on how you approach them. So from what I've been reading here, they're saying that they can change the modifiers and the mechanics to a boss, and you won't know. Like, you won't go, you won't know going into it. So it, it can switch things up. It's not just going to be you know, a copy and paste from the bosses that we fought. So that's interesting, it's interesting. Sorry, check this out, check this out. Let me read this for a little bit for you, okay? <laughs> All right, so Pantheon will increase in scale and difficulty each week, starting with four bosses in the first one and growing up to eight in a row on May 21st. Each time a new boss is added, the active modifiers will rotate and the power cap will change. So the power cap is going to start with players at five power below. And then the contest mode is going to ramp all the way up to a contest mode, which is going to have us at 20 power below. Basically, they say as difficulty goes up, so do the rewards. You can get adept raid weapons, deep sight versions of raid weapons and even exotic weapons. Some rewards are weekly and others are linked to pursuits or triumphs. They say like four new emblems, but many will also depend on your performance. We challenge you to complete each encounter before the bonus timer expires to get a platinum score and the best rewards. What are we thinking about that? Sound good? Y'all excited to be able to get red borders and fight bosses without having to do a whole raid? I don't know. Y'all tell me. All right. They say Shaxx will have the quest that you need to start your journey to become a God Slayer. And that's going to be the title. Ooh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that title. Ooh, it sounds mean, man. It sounds scary, right? Sounds, uh, <laughs> sound real anime. All right, updating the HUD. All right, they're going to make changes to the HUD, y'all. Coming in the final shape. Check this out. So right now, and prior to the final shape, we can only have four buffs on stream. So things get thrown off stream. It rotates out. Can't see everything. You know, there's a lot going on, especially if you do a raid. All right, so Bungie was like, hey, we need to visually prioritize important buffs and they, they're going to increase the number of buffs that you can see. So what else does this mean? All right, so check the screen. This is how it's going to look, y'all. So when we're playing right under your health, they're going to put critical buffs, critical info. What is critical info? This means anything that you need to know for the activity. It can be like white mechanics. It can be anything that is directly related to the raid or the dungeon stuff like that and then the other thing is going to be a weapon channel and the weapon channel is over here right here y'all as you can see it's right above your super meter so you see how keep away and harmonic uh resonance that's just your gun stuff right just your gun stuff and then in the usual place we got the other stuff <laughs> the other stuff that's still important all right so 
I already broke down critical info and I broke down weapon. So that's pretty much their goal. They're going to change or make it more clear. You know, these icons for people who are uh, colorblind, make it easier for them. So these are some new icons you're going to see, or at least slightly changed icons that we used to. And now they're going to put the timer related to these things on the left of it. So hopefully that makes it clearer, clearer. Yeah. And then also timers when now this I just I just said that. All right, we're good. All right, moving on, y'all. Weapons rotating out on June 4th. All right. These are weapons leaving, getting they piecing out. So in Trials of Osiris, it's gonna be unexpected resurgence blade, cataphract GL3, grenade launcher, messenger, pulse rifle, igneous hammer. For night falls, Braytech Osprey is leaving. Your last week to get it is April 9th. Loaded question fusion is leaving. Last week to get it is April 23rd. For Iron Banner, Joram's Claw is out, Bite of the Fox is out, Pressurized Precision Fusion is out, and Swarm of the Raven Grenade Launcher is out too. All right, so last week for that is April 30th. And for Trials, the last week for the Glaive... Oh, Glaive's already out. Glaive's already out, sorry, y'all. Uh, last week for the Grenade Launcher is April 23rd. Last week for the Pulse Rifle, the Messenger... It's May 14th, and last week for Igneous is going to be May 21st. All right. Uh, they're doing kilts for kids again. This is the 13th annual version of it. It's a fundraiser that Bungie does where you pay to vote, right? And you vote for the Bungie team, and they want to raise seven, 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 seven. Yeah, y- y'all know how that goes, right? <laughs> the seven, seven, sevens. All right, they want to raise seven, 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 and what this does is for is for the Ronald McDonald House charities. It pays for families to stay and get treatment at hospitals for the kids, and it, it all be covered. That's basically what it is, y'all. So it's a good thing. All right, and here are the rewards, right? All the rewards are right here on screen. If you want to take a look at it, if you care, again, I link the twid in the description just come over and then click the link here right here to go to it and then this emblem is available as well as all the other stuff that's in here all right and here's the known issues that bungie is working on right now fixing and that's pretty much it it was a little quicker a little quicker not too too much but how are y'all feeling about pantheon y'all gonna play y'all waiting for it you happy you excited and how y'all feel about the HUD? Do you feel like we needed these HUD changes? Or y'all just like, I, I don't care, Marcus, just shut up. Either way, let me know in the comments, please. Don't forget the likes to support the video. And if you're newer, I do weekly videos to keep you updated every week. So please subscribe, hit the bell. I appreciate y'all support. I'm out.